high power point, we talked about pieces and parts to make our corridor. So from that, we want to do our alignments, which is our horizontal align geometry. We want to do some sampling of that with a surface. So I got these alignments with a surface. So I've created these alignments already in the case that someone says, why did you create those? I showed you how I created those. So there's my alignments. Now we have this kind of a surface, you know, this tin surface. If I pick on it, if I right click, you know, those don't look like the sharpest contours in terms of smoothness. So I don't have to look at them. I have a style where I don't have to look at them. So I select apply, select OK. Ah, I forgot to build the contours from a surface. So from that, no big deal. Surface one, we built this surface from contours. If I hold my cursor, for those beginners out there, I built my surface from contours. From the contours, I built a surface model. From that surface model, it gives me my Z elevation and my alignment offsets at each alignment. From those alignment offsets, as I move around, it's going to give me station and offset for each of my alignments. No big deal. Okay. We already seen how I created the parcels. We have the alignments in there. From that, we need to surface and sample a profile. So from that, the first thing I want to do is, you know, you can pick on alignment here and up in the ribbon, we can select surface profile. So there's a lot of different ways that we can kind of get through civil 3D, but you know, one of the things I'm coming from old school where I'm an old school CAD guy and I like to go from left to right and down. I'm just going to go to the pull-out menu and select create profile from a surface. We have specific alignments here in the midst of ripping and running through alignments. I didn't name those alignments. So one of the things that allows me flexibility is I can come in here and select the alignment that I want. So I picked on the alignment. So alignment number three, I'm generating it from the surface is 1400 feet. I'm going to select, add the alignment. I can sample offsets to the left and right of my alignment to get elevations. I'm going to draw this in the profile view. From the profile view, it shows me alignment number three. It's going to be the parent alignment name. And then I'll select next. And then it shows me the length of my alignment and then the profile view height and then what specifically is going to be displayed and then my elevation sensations is going to be down at the bottom. If I wanted those at the top, I'm going to select the top, but I want those at the bottom and I'm going to select next and we're not going to be concerned about cut and fill as of yet. So I'll select create profile view. Then I'll go right over here to the side and in form number three, there's my profile of that alignment. So there's my horizontal alignment shown vertically in a profile. So from that, um, we're going to do the other alignments. So I'm going to come up to alignments, up to profiles, create profile from the surface. Uh, specifically, I'm going to go in and choose my alignment here. So I'll pick this alignment. That's going to grab my alignment. Number one, I'm going to add the surface. So do this a little bit faster for those who are beginners, a little bit more acclimated to what I'm doing now. Those who are intermediate, um, we're getting to the meat of the sandwich. So we'll select OK. We're going to go to profile view. We'll select next, 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 create profile view. So that is profile number one. So we'll put that in profile number one. Ah, so I'm going to cut on my object snap. And then under my object snap, um, some of the nice things I typically will use is this object snap tracking. So I can kind of line things up. So if I come in here and I just hold on there, I can snap and track, you know, where I want my profile to be up here. There's that profile. Okay. so. Now we got those two, so we'll come right back, profiles, and we're going to do this a little faster. We're going to select a different profile. 
different alignment, select alignment, and I could select it two or four, but from here, I can just grab it. Select that in, select draw profile view, select create profile view. So a little bit faster. And we'll go here in terms of time purposes. We'll just put that right there. Here's my other profile. And then last but not least, we're gonna create another profile from surface to sample it. That one is gonna be alignment four. Well, imagine that. We'll select drawing profile view, and then we'll select create profile view. Ah, so, and then we'll just put it right down here. No big deal. There's my alignment four. So there's my four profiles. So based upon my profile, typically what we would do in reference to creating a profile, <clears throat> excuse me, which is also a part of our search for sampling. And you know, profile information is really the backbone of our vertical design. Civil 3D takes advantage of this surface profile or sampling of this data, our design data, and external input data if I wanted to. So the most basic designs require a profile. So we're gonna look at some of these tools in terms of creating. One of the things that I typically think about in terms of a site is cut and feel. Whether I'm starting from a detention pond, whether I'm starting from a lot, or whether I'm starting from a road, I'm thinking cut and feel. So one of the things I wanna do is create a finished grade layout for each one of these profiles. So from each one of these profiles, I'm gonna cut, create a layout. So from this layout, I'm gonna to go to profiles, create layout. It's gonna prompt me to select my profile view. There's my profile view. I typically will tell it, finish grade. And then a design profile complete label set. I typically will start with a curve setting of a parabolic curve 150 feet. I'm gonna use the defaults, I'm gonna select okay. Then I start out similar to what I did with horizontal alignments, draw tangents or curves. So I'm gonna start at this end point, kind of go according to the ground here. And for the most part, put a little, we zoom in there. We'll put a little bump in here, no big deal. And from that, come up. And let's just say we need to drive kind of through there. So we'll put this on here, just as an example. And then we'll cut our old snaps back on. And then I'll snap to the end point. There's my finished grade. Okay, so we got some text that's kind of going in the wrong place here. So if I pick on that, we can move that down, drag that down, no big deal. We can drag that down and I can specifically tell text where I want to go. And as a small shortcut, we're on alignment profile number one. <clears throat> From that, if I pick my profile view and go to profile view properties, I want to be able to tell it specifically there's two different surface profiles. One is the existing ground surface. The other one is the finished grade. Select OK. And now we can see the difference between the two there. So 